Hi, it is Monday, July 15th, I think. And I am over at my son's right now uh, doing laundry. And the other day, I, I don't know if I told you this or not, but I decided to redeem one of my uh, wellness rewards on Weight Watchers. I had, you know, over 5,000 points racked up and I hadn't gotten anything yet. So I decided to get the cookbook because I'm a cookbook junkie and I thought, why not? And, to, I mean, I just did this like on Thursday and look, today it came. So I'm gonna open this up now. I already opened up the envelope, so I wanted to show you the cookbook. Came with a little for you. Your amazing determination has paid off. You enjoyed, you earned this gift, enjoy it. Okay, well, this is the Essential WW Freestyle Cookbook. 150 dishes in 30 minutes or less using zero point foods. That's what it looks like. So, let's see what this has in it. Kind of hard to look at it holding my phone in one hand and trying to flip the pages in the other. 274 pages altogether. That's including the index. But they have, uh, oh, look at that. Mm. Pineapples Foster. I mean, they have photos. So let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this contents. Chapter one is protein packed meals. Um, chicken and turkey chapter two fresh and fast seafood chapter three good for you good for the planet plant-based proteins uh, chapter four not just for breakfast eggs uh, chapter five fill your plate veggies chapter six creamy goodness plain fat free yogurt Naturally sweet is chapter seven. Naturally sweet fruits. And let's just kind of take a look at a couple of these here. It's all, all about their recipes. Then it says what freestyle is all about. A little page about that. Uh, Addy adds something extra. It's like, you know, something like, like a handout we would get back in the old days at Weight Watchers. So some of the recipes for protein packed meals. Chicken with strawberry balsamic salsa. Grilled chicken with Indian spices. Paprika chicken. I might look at that because I like chicken paprika. With orange olive relish. Hmm. Chicken with apricots. Curried chicken. Some words I can't pronounce. Penne with turkey and artichokes. I think this is definitely going to be something I'm going to want to look at. And maybe when I come back in my video later today, I will have had a chance to do this. How to cook perfectly moist, delicious chicken breasts. I wonder if their method is any different than mine. <laughs> but this chicken with strawberry balsamic salsa looks awesome. Let's go back a little bit further. Grilled tuna with cucumber noodle salad. One of the things that I love about uh, many of the Weight Watchers uh, recipes is that they are easy to make. A couple of things that I dislike about it is sometimes they're expensive to make and they use spices that I don't normally keep in my cupboard. Uh, so, And I think that's what makes it expensive is all the extra spices you get. And, you know, like... I'm looking at this one, shrimp, bell pepper, and thyme frittata. This one happens to have all spices that I use frequently. But some of the Asian spices or Indian spices I don't normally keep around. So uh, I would look for alternative. Yeah, give me something to do. Uh, anyway, corn and pepper jack frittata. That looks good. So, oh, there's how to make the perfect omelet <laughs> instead of scrambling eggs. 
lentil, strawberry, and watercress salad. That looks awesome, too. So, I mean, yeah, the, I mean, these really kind of sound good. So, I'm excited to go through this. But I was excited to get my first reward from Weight Watchers. So, I'm going to look through this and I'll tell you what some of my favorites are. And, and um, maybe we can have a cookbook challenge here. If, any, if you have this cookbook, let me know. And let me know what you think about it so far. Uh, like I said, I'm a cookbook junkie. I think I've come out with every, I have every cookbook from every plan Weight Watchers ever has had. Um, not that I've made everything, but I've made quite a bit of them. So anyway, so let's get to today. I told you yesterday I, I was back on plan. My scale was down this morning by one pound. And uh, I've been on plan so far today, all I've had is breakfast, and I ate a late breakfast. I mean, I didn't eat till about noon, but that's just because, you know, I got up maybe about 9 o'clock, but I like to sit around for a while and kind of, you know, drink my coffee. Matter of fact, I'm still finishing my coffee from the morning. But uh, since I'm over at my son's, I'm probably not going to get to lunch, um, and I'll have a higher protein dinner tonight. Um, I do have some more strawberries back at my sister's place with some fat-free yogurt. If I have a lunch or a snack before I eat my dinner, I, mean, I have no idea what that's going to be yet. I think I'm going to finish up that leftover salmon I have, though. Uh, and, yeah, so I'll show you my breakfast now. Uh, and then when I get to my uh, snack or lunch <laughs> and dinner, I'll show you that. I just haven't made any decision. I'm trying not to buy a lot of groceries right now. Uh, First of all, because I'm going to come back to my son's and I'll probably grocery shop, you know, when I get back here. And then um, I know that I've got some produce coming in that I'm going to start canning. So I'm kind of saving my money for that, which is reason one of the reasons I'm not going to Oklahoma because <laughs> the green beans are coming in. <laughs> and I want to be able to can green beans this year. I wasn't able to do it last year. So I know that some of you probably think that's weird, but... but uh, so, you know, for years my life has uh, revolved around my canning schedule. But, you know, at the end of the harvest, my cupboards are stocked. So, okay, let me show you breakfast and then I'll be back with um, lunch and dinner later. All right, breakfast today. I have two slices of healthy life bread for two points. I just have some spray butter on there for zero points. Two large eggs uh, for zero points. I have 26 grams of avocado. That's one point. Um, I have this with some jalapenos in here too, so it's like the, we call them Texas eggs. I have 284 grams of uh, strawberries, which is zero points. Only 90 calories for all those strawberries. Just a little bit of Splenda on top. And then uh, I have a cup of coffee here. I will have another cup totaling four tablespoons of fat-free half and half for two points. So that makes my breakfast this morning five points. Okay, for lunch, I'm just having a peanut butter and jelly English muffin. This is a Thomas Light 100 calorie English muffin for three points. I divided one tablespoon of regular peanut butter from Kroger. This is the creamy peanut butter from Kroger. One tablespoon is three points and then I just topped it with my sugar-free jam uh, strawberry jam which is zero points so my uh, lunch snack is six points okay for dinner tonight I'm having a half a cup of Bush's baked beans they're the vegetarian baked beans five points for that half a cup two slices of pineapple that were grilled for zero points 66 grams of Salmon, which is zero points. My tomatoes are zero points. And I just have a few jalapeno slices for zero points. So uh, my dinner is five points. Takes me up to 16 points for the day. Okay, time to show you my stats for today. Uh, my breakfast was five points. 295 calories. 295.7. And my lunch was six points, 195 calories, so that brought it up to 11 points and 490.7 calories. 
Then my dinner was five points. 332.4, which took my total up to 16 points, 823.1 calories. And then I didn't show you, I had a yogurt and strawberry snack, which was zero points, but 176 calories. Brought my total calories that I took in a day, 999.1, which really is low for me. 16 total points. I uh, burned 1,837 calories, so I burned 837.9 calories more than what I took in today. And I wanted to show you my quote for the, for the week. And it's, the distance between who I am and who I want to be is separated only by what I do. And I have to tell you, that was a quote I looked at before I went for my walk tonight because I really didn't want to go. All right, like I said, I kind of had to talk myself into taking that walk tonight because I, I don't know why I got so tired sitting here, but um, I did. I mean, I was up and downstairs a lot today at my, at my son's, so I think I just kind of got tired. But we went for our walk. I only walked um, about two and a quarter miles today. It was just so hot, and it's going to get even hotter. I don't know how much walking I'm going to get in the rest of the week because it's supposed to be oppressive heat here. Um, and I, as it was, I waited till nine o'clock tonight to go walking and it, it had cooled off enough where I could walk, but, um, it was, it's still warm outside. Um, kind of hoping that, that we get the rain that they're calling for. So maybe it'll cool some things off. I hope it cools things off. I hope it doesn't make it even more oppressive with humidity. So today I had a good day in plan. Um, I wrote down everything that you, you know, I didn't eat anything other than what I showed you here. Uh, on my stats. I didn't show you my yogurt and strawberry snack, but that was zero points. Um, after I ate dinner, I was thinking, well, I had seven points left after dinner. Do I want to have an ice cream sandwich? That's five calorie, or five points, 110 calories, but I thought I'd rather have better calories, you know, than the sugar calories. So I had the natural sugar in the strawberries instead in the yogurt. So I think I made good choices today. Um, I'm back on track. This is my second day in a row now that I've been very, very diligent about tracking after my weekend blitz, I'll call it. So uh, anyway, it's kind of going to do it for me tonight. I brought in a bag of clothes tonight. I'm going to try on. These are clothes I've had in my storage unit since I came back from Idaho. Uh, I'm going to start the weeding process. Um, matter of fact, I told my daughter today that I'm going through and I'm either donating or pitching everything that doesn't fit me anymore. Um, getting rid of my fat clothes, I should say, you know, or my oversized clothes, supersized clothes, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that I can't wear anymore and that I don't want to wear anymore. So I'm going to start that weeding process over the next couple days and just getting things, uh, out of my life so that when I get into my new apartment, I don't have to make room for stuff I'm never going to wear. I mean, now that I'm out of a lot of the stuff, I don't intend ever getting getting back in into it. And I, I, mean, I have to honestly say that's the first time I've had the mental mindset to do that uh, because always I thought, I'm going to hang on to this just in case. Well, I don't want a just in case anymore. So I'm getting rid of the clothes. Maybe it's the first step of just moving on with everything. I don't know. But I feel ready to let go of clothes I'm not wearing anymore. <laughs> so, and I have some things, I think I told you this, that I've only worn once once or twice that rather than get rid of it, I think I might, you know, donate it to the church rummage sale or, or to Goodwill or, you know, find a worthy cause to donate them to. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to drink another bottle of water here before I call it a night. And, uh... Press on tomorrow. My plan tomorrow is to stay on plan like it was today. So you guys have a great night, and I will be talking to you tomorrow.